Hello guys, me Carl Santos, aka Larson 42 and I'm part of a Facebook group called Carl Larson Nation, and as Larson fans, I think he needs to have a wake-up call of the Ryan Newman incident from last night at the Daytona 500, because flipping race cars is just something you have to do when you're racing and it happens a lot on dirt but on asphalt it's it happens slightly so here's my pray for Ryan Newman decal that I got so let's get to the topic of Ryan Newman when I saw the gasoline leak and the fire igniting and he was upside down still for like 15 minutes I was in brief shock and saw all these YouTubers like throughout the night trying to keep each other in company and I was one of those I wanted to help others too so The race was uneventful until like the last 50 laps of the race and people were jogging for position and missing the big one and I knew it was there until the end, you know. And he's just the hundred yards to the finish. He had the race won and if he had kept his line he would have won it instead of, you know, the somber day, you know. A lot, I've been hearing a lot of comparisons to Robert Wiggins at Pocono, you know. Well, that's why IndyCars don't race in Pocono anymore. Not because of the Justin Wilson death with the rear wing that flew off of one of the cars, but, but because of Robert Wickens uh, high speed incident with I think Ryan Hunter Ray, you know. And basically IndyCar and Tramp cars are like more dangerous than NASCAR, you know. Like the technology, there's this way behind NASCAR net right now. They've had fatalities, basically, within this 21st century, you know. And I think IndyCar is going the right direction with the full uh, front shield. I would like to talk about Kyle Larson, but he just finished 10th, so I'll just stop there on his part, so. This was a brief presentation of how Ryan Newman survived that wreck last night, and hopefully when you guys see it, hopefully you think about it too, so. Hashtag pray for Newman. Have a good evening, guys.